Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot, so hit that subscribe button. I wanted to hop on and say hi to everyone because I haven't put myself on camera in a little while. Um, today's video, we're going to be making some Milky Way resin coasters, and they turned out so pretty. Um, I wanted to just share this with you guys because these are so easy to make, and I hope you guys give this a try because I just feel like they always turn out pretty. So we're going to be pouring in two layers, and I'm going to be using my Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy. I went ahead and mixed up my resin off camera just to save time. I like to keep my videos pretty straight and to the point because I do have several other videos on my channel. If you're new to resin, I show you step by step how to mix your resin and your pigments, but I just like to cut the mixing out of most of my videos. Um, so if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step, how to mix your resin and your pigments, I will link my Milky Way coaster tutorial down below in the description box. It's my original one that I made a while back. I'm using um, the same resin in that video and I show you step by step how to mix your resin and your pigments. So let's jump in and get started. I'll um, include a little sneak peek of the coasters we're going to be making today. Let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll link all the materials I'm using down below in the description box, along with any coupon codes that I have. So if you guys want to get any of these products to try, it will give you a little bit of savings. Let's jump in and get started. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Here's a sneak peek of the coasters we're going to be making today. Um, like I said, we're going to be pouring these in two layers. The coaster molds I got from Dryer Days Art Studio. I'll link them down below, along with my coupon code. I love the diamond edge that these molds have. They just are really so pretty, and they take about four ounces each to fill up. We're gonna be using the Total Bolt Tabletop Epoxy on the first layer. This surfs up white pigment from Island Micas and More and Mayron Gold Pigment from Amazon. So I went ahead and mixed up my resin off camera. I added a pea size amount to, of the Mayron Gold to one ounce of clear resin, and I added about four drops of the Surf's Up White liquid pigment to one ounce of clear resin. I'm just pouring about one ounce into each of my molds here. I'm not adding much resin at all. I was just trying to add enough to get the bottom uh, covered completely so there was a nice layer of resin on the bottom of the mold. So I'm going in with my heat gun on low to pop the bubbles. You don't want to go in with your heat gun on high because it can damage your molds and you don't want to get too close to your molds with the heat gun um, because like I said it can melt them and um, that's no fun. Just going to pop some more bubbles and then we're going to go in and do some drizzles. This is the Surf's Up White. I'm not doing anything special. I'm just going in and doing some drizzles. Same thing with the Mayron Gold. Just going in and doing some little swirly drizzle designs. I'm going to go in with my heat gun on low and move these pigments around so they blend together nicely. And the key to this, you guys, you don't want to add too much heat. I'm not adding much heat at all. I'm just blending these together like this and that's it. Um, you want to not add too much heat and just let the resin do its magic. I wanted to add a little bit more gold to this one here, but you can already see the one on the top. Um, that Mayron gold is so pretty. It's a floating pigment and it's got a really beautiful gold. See how pretty these are looking already? That's it. I covered them up, let them dry for 24 hours, and now we're going to go in and do layer two. I'm going to be using this pink opulence glitter powder from Laura's Art Corner, Afterglow from the Glitter Grind, and Holographic Gold Glitter from Dryer Days Art Studio. And I'm using my Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy again. I wanted to show you guys how pretty that gold was looking. So it's all the first layer is all dry. We're just going in with our glitters. I had eight ounces of resin and I just mixed in enough glitter to make it opaque, filling up the molds the rest of the way. Super simple and easy. When you do this, you want to use three or four different colors of glitter so you get a nice variation of that glitter popping up through the first layer and I'm just making sure I get these molds filled up all the way to the rim hitting it with my heat gun on low and that's it here they are 24 hours later ready to pop them out of the mold they have some really gorgeous beautiful 
texture in there and you can see the glitter popping up through the first layer. I'm going to pop the second one out of the mold really quickly and then uh, bring them outside so you can guys so you guys can really see how gorgeous they turned out. I think this one's my favorite of the two. I got some really nice wispy effects right here around the rim of the coaster but here it is all nice and finished i just love how sparkly the glitter is when you pour that in on the second layer you can see it around the edge of the mold and popping up through the first layer that we did with the mayron gold and the white and you can use you know more than two colors on your first layer you could use three or four colors if you want to too just don't um, go too crazy with the pigments because you do want to have clear in there as well so you can see the glitter layer popping up through um, your first layer. And be sure to go check out my first Milky Way coaster tutorial if you guys haven't seen that one. They turned out really pretty as well. I used um, white, blue, and gold tones on that set of coasters. They're one of my favorites that I've made, but I really like this set a lot too. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys and chatting with you down in the comments section. And as always, I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. If you like this video, please leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and go check out a few more of my other videos. That's a great way to help out my channel. If you watch a few of my videos back to back, it really helps me out a lot. I'll leave a few of my favorites right here at the end card screen just click the picture and it'll take you straight to the video thanks again for watching i hope you guys are all doing fantastic and i will see you soon for another video bye guys